Hi, explorers. Welcome to MKEADS. My name is Captain Jack Bubbles, the explorer of the seven seas. If you're joining us for the very first time, we would like to say welcome. And if you are celebrating your birthday this week, we would like to wish you a very, very happy birthday. Okay, so today we're going to be learning about how God made us wonderfully and fearfully. What does that mean, guys? Do we know what that means? It means that God made us all different, but he made us special. He made us with wonderful gifts. Okay? We may be different, but we are special. We are what? Yes, we are special. All right. Are you ready for the lesson? Okay, let's go. Arr. Hi, explorers. It's now time for offering with me, teacher Gift. So today's offering verse is coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 to 7. Let's say it again. Let's say it together. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. 6 to 7 and it reads remember this whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously each of you should give what you have decided in your hearts to give not reluctantly or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful giver so you know, we are being encouraged to give cheerfully, okay? So don't give when you feel like not giving, okay? If, you, if you're sad, don't give because God wants you to give cheerfully, okay? With love and joy. They are giving options on the screen so you can ask your parents or anyone who's Order than you to help you give today. I'm back again, explorers. It's now time for our memory verse. Can you guess our memory verse for today? Can you guess? Oh, let me tell you. So today's memory verse is coming from the book of Psalm. Okay, Psalms chapter 139 verse 14. And it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. So today we have a video for our memory verse. Enjoy.
don't eat me. Don't eat me, please, please. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Polar Bear. No, sit. Ah. I think I've lost him. Hey. Yeah, 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 it's dangerous. Oh, hi, kids. How are you doing? It's me, Teacher Iwao, Explorer, Man of Steel. And I was escaping from a polar bear. It's not like that lion. This one was chasing me. <sighs> oh, you wonder who I am? Yes, there's a lot of snow. I'm in Antarctica. I'm exploring the land that is white. Yes, you should come here one day. There's a lot of snow, a lot of nice, friendly animals. No, not Mr. Polar Bear. He's not friendly. Anyway, I hope you had a good week. Did you have a good week? Ah, some of you did? And some of you it wasn't so good? Well, I hope it will be better because you're watching M-Kids. So guys, who's ever played in sand before? Yes, in sand. You have, right? Yes, so have I. I used to jump in sand, play football in sand, kicking the ball. I come back home looking like a sand man. And then mom would be like, go bath. And I'd be like, oh, I don't want to bath. I want to stay like this. So we played in sand before, right? Ah, lovely. So guys, Imagine, you don't even have to imagine it, the sand outside, but I'll just tell you to imagine it. But you had a bowl of sand in front of you, okay? A nice big bowl, like the ones where you eat your cereal from, your cornflakes. Yes. If you got a teaspoon of that, could you count the number of sand grains there? Like one, two, three, four, five. You couldn't, right? No way. Because they're a lot. Yes, that's why you couldn't count them. I think on a teaspoon, there's more than a thousand grains of sand. Yes, more than a thousand grains of sand. That's a lot. And do you know what's amazing? God has so many more thoughts than those grains of sand on a teaspoon about you and about me. So God thinks about us more than a thousand times each day. Okay. Yes, he thinks about you more than a thousand times. Because he loves you so, so much. And he also thinks about me and your mom and your dad and your best friend and brother and sister more than a thousand times. So I would like for you to turn to me, eh, to turn to the Bible. Sorry, don't, don't turn to me. Turn to the Bible. Quickly grab your Bible. Oh, where's my Bible? Wait, I might have dropped it in the snow. Ah. There we go. It's here. So let's go to Psalms 139. Yes, Psalms 139. Psalms is near the middle of the Bible. Yes, that's where it is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Do you know who wrote the book of Psalms? Yes, David. Yes, David who killed the giant Goliath. He wrote the book of Psalms. And do you know the book of Psalms is actually a book of songs? So when David was writing them, he was writing songs because David liked to sing. Yes, he did. So I know you're at Psalms 139, so I'm giving you 10 seconds to find Psalms chapter 139 and verse 14. Ask your mom or dad or older brother and sister to help you. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Now, when you read Psalms 14, you see that David realized that God made him unique. Do you know what it is to be unique? To be unique means to be different from everyone around you. So you can look at your mommy or your daddy, or your brother and sister. Yes, you can tell these are my brothers and sisters, or this is my mom and dad, but you don't look the same. Hmm? Do you, you know when you look in the mirror, you see yourself and say, ah, oh, that's me. But when you look at dad, your mommy, do you say, ah, oh, that's also me. No, you don't, right? Exactly. And if you say, no, but I have a twin brother, or a twin sister, hmm, though there's still something different. I'll give you this example. Look at your twin brother or twin sister right now. And then give a big smile like this. Ah, now look at the teeth. Yes, you've both got white teeth, but they are not all the same. Some are bigger, 
Some are smaller, right? Exactly, you are different. And David saw that because he was different from everyone, that God loved him. God said that you are special to me. So you see, God loves you so much. And that's why he made you different from every other person, okay? He took his time in making you look nice and good like that. All right. Awesome. Now, speaking of how much God loves us, what do you think God says about you every day? He's thinking about you. Remember, he thinks about us more than a thousand times in a day. Yes. What do you think he thinks about you? I'll give you five seconds to give me some answers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Those are good answers. Yes, God thinks you're good. God thinks you're beautiful. Yes, God says he loves you. Well, so that you can know more of what God says about you, let's go to the Bible, okay? So on the screen, I'm about to pop up some wonderful verses from the Bible. So you can pause the video right now to write down those verses. Okay, the verses are still on the screen, and I know you paused the video to write them down. So you could also read, like, from the screen, there's Ephesians, okay? As you look at them, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5, it says us, <clears throat> we are alive in Christ. That's what it says. We are alive in Christ. So you and I are alive in Christ. That's what God says about us. And you, when you go to Romans, I'm going to Romans chapter 8, verse 2 right now, which is still on the screen. It says, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives us life has set you free. I'll put it in a simple way so you understand it. It says through Christ Jesus that we are free from the law of sin and death. Sin is when you do something bad that God doesn't like. But because of Jesus, because he died for us and we accepted him as our friend, we are free from the bad things, okay, and from death. Yes. So, I hope you've written down all the scriptures and that you take time to read them at home, okay? Yes. Awesome. Well, from me, the man of steel, explorer you well, I have to go make a fire because I know I look strong, but I'm feeling good because I forgot my, my jacket. In Antarctica, here you can freeze. I'll come out looking like an ice block, eh? So let me go make a fire. I know I saw fire with somewhere here. Hopefully that polar bear won't find me. Bye guys. See you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. Hey. Hi explorers. It's me, Teacher Manga, your chief explorer reporting for duty. All right, boys and girls. Right now, we are going to talk about a man called Jesus. Do you know who he is? Well, Jesus is the son of God. Now explorers. You see, Jesus did something for you and me. You know what he did? Well, he came to die for our sins. Now, you may be asking, what is sin? Well, sin is simply the bad things that we do. You see, explorers, in the beginning, Adam and Eve, when they were in the garden, they sinned against God. And because of that, they were no longer his friends. So God had to send his son, Jesus, to die for our sins so that we can become his friends again. Did you get that, explorers? All right. Now, the question is, how can we become God's friends again? Well, very, very simple, explorers. All you have to do are the A, B, C's. That's right, A, B, C's. And they stand for A, accept that I'm a sinner. B, believe that Jesus came to die on the cross for my sins. And C, confess that Jesus is Lord. Did you get that, explorers? Awesome. Now, when you do that by faith, you can become a friend of God. Isn't that awesome? Yes, it is. So, explorers, that's how you can now become a friend of God. So, right now, if you have never made Jesus your friend, we 
are going to pray together. But wait, maybe you've made Jesus your friend before. Do you have to make Jesus your friend again? Well, explorers, there's no need for you to make Jesus your friend again. You know why? Because Jesus is still with you. He's still your friend. He never left you. So there's no need for you to pray this prayer with me again. Or maybe you feel you did something bad this week. Or maybe you've been doing bad things ever since you made Jesus your friend. And maybe you want to make Jesus your friend again. We call that rededicating. Well, you can pray with me. Are you ready for that, explorers? Awesome. Now, do Jesus loves me? All right. Now, let's pray together. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my life and be my friend forever. It's in your name I have prayed. Amen. All right, explorers, if you prayed that prayer with me, guess what? You are now a friend of God. So you are now part of the family of God. And there is a party in heaven right now for you because you are now part of God's new family. Now, Explorers, before you leave, I've got something for you. A very awesome book right here. Now, this book is going to help you in this new walk that you have with Jesus. It's going to help you know more about Jesus. So all you have to do, very simple, right now on the screen, there is an email. All you have to do is tell any adult person that could be mommy or daddy, tell them to email the church your name and your age and we will be able to send this book to you. All right, explorers, that's it for me. See you. Hi, explorers, Teacher Manga again. Now, we have come to that time of the service. Yeah, I'm sad too. It's time for us to say goodbye. But before we go, Let's pray. Are you ready to pray? All right, explorers, do it. Jesus loves me. Now I want you to pray with me. Let's pray together. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for today's service. Lord Jesus, thank you for all my teachers who taught me today. Lord Jesus, be with me, my family, and my friends as I start my week. It's in your name I have prayed. Amen. Amen. All right, explorers. Now hold up. Before you go, a few things that I want to share with you. Firstly, how many of you like to dance? All right. I know you like to dance. So, in the description there is a link that you can click and if you click it you can be able to access today's praise and worship so all you have to do tell any adult person that could be mommy or daddy your big brother your big sister or your uncle to click that link and they will be able to help you access today's praise and worship also in the link is this week's activity so all you have to do, explorers, is the same thing. Just tell your mom, your dad, or any adult person to click that link and you will be able to access this week's activity. All right, explorers, it's me, Teacher Manga, your chief explorer saying, bye-bye and see you next week. <laughs>